Hi everyone, I'm here to show you my first impression of the InStyler Max 2-Way Rotating Iron. This is the raw, uncut version as it happens with my natural hair. And let's get started. So I recently colored my hair and it is freshly washed and conditioned. And we're just going to section our hair into four sections to make it easier to deal with. And use some crocodile clips to do this. These are like the best clips ever to use. This is what my hair is looking like after a fresh wash. So I'm using my lightweight styling cream by Madison Reed. It's got baobab seed and mongongo oil to help your hair shine and protect your color at the same time. So this is actually what I'm using to blow dry my natural hair. And just work the product through your hair. Really work it through. Make sure you coat all your strands. Two or three pumps are enough for each section and comb your hair to detangle it. I'm so used to my Denman brush, but my sister stole it, so I'm using a wide tooth comb. And I have very little shedding, which is shocking for my natural hair. Grab a small section of hair and pin the rest of it up to get it out of the way so you don't get tangled. And we're going to blow dry our hair with a blow dryer that has a comb attachment. This is by Kiss Red. 1875 I believe is the name of the blow dryer but I'll have all the details down below for you guys to see where you can get it. It was only $20 on Amazon and it's like the best blow dryer I've ever had. It does a pretty decent job of blow drying my natural hair. I'm still working out how to properly blow dry my hair. I'm not really proficient in it yet but we're getting there. But yeah this is what my blown out hair looks like. So let's take a look at this InStyler. This is the body of the InStyler. I have a purple one as you can see and it actually has a thermal training guard to teach you how to use the InStyler and prevent burning yourself of course but I never used it. When you close the InStyler it rotates and you can double tap to change directions and behind us is a heat resistant countertop mat so you won't burn any surfaces when you use the InStyler. Once you turn it on it actually has four bars and it goes down one bar each time you depress the power button until it turns off because it has four heat settings and the highest heat setting is 425 degrees. I'm using my Icy Fantasia Heat Protection Serum for straightening hair and sectioning my hair off again in four sections to make it easier for me to work with. So just twist and clip. I used a quarter size amount of straightening serum for each section of hair really work the product through always work your product through your natural hair for optimal results regardless of what you're doing to your hair it's just so much better and comb your hair and then create small sections with a fine toothed comb clamp it at the root of your hair and slide down as it rotates if you want your hair to be silky straight you probably want to go slowly I was actually going pretty fast when I was going down with the InStyler because I'm very impatient when I do stuff with heat styling tools. If you want to have a sleek, really sleek look, slow and steady definitely wins the race. Here's a comparison of the blown out hair versus the InStyler hair. So there is a stark difference and it looks really nice and voluminous but straight. So we're going to continue straightening our hair with the InStyler and I'm going to show you something real quick. This is where I messed up. Look at the barrel. It's going in the opposite direction that the device is going in. Do not do that if you want your hair to be sleek. Double tap if you want to change directions. Always make sure the direction is going down with the hair, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to trim my natural hair while it's straight and just comb small sections of your hair, grab your scissors, slide your fingers down and cut where you desire to cut your hair. Very simple, that's how I always trim my natural hair and I will have a full trimming video for you guys in like three months the next time I do this. But yeah, about the InStyler, it does a pretty good job. I did get a nice soft stretched look. They don't promise you this sleek bone straight hair, they actually promise you a blowout look and I did get the blowout look so I'm very impressed. And also I feel like I could get it straighter so in the next video I'm going to show you guys the best practices for the InStyler on a weave and I'll also show you again InStyler versus flat iron on my natural hair in the future. So thank you so much for watching as always and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!